Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our expert is Omiti Onunga, Senior Patent uh, Examiner at KIPI. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Perhaps you can tell people what KIPI stands for. KIPI is Kenya Industrial Property Institute. It's a, a semi-autonomous agency of the Ministry of Industrialization that is in charge of administration of two acts of parliament the Trademarks Act and the Industrial Property Act of 2001. What is KIPI mandated to do? KIPI's mandate includes promotion of creativity and inventiveness with respect to industrial property. Trademarks, patents, uh, designs, and uh, utility models which are considered to be petty patents. What kind of invention do you protect? Any invention that meets uh, five basic requirements that are provided in law, that it must be new universally, it must have a technical character, meaning it relates to the technical functionality of a process or a product that is physically. The third requirement is that it be not obvious to people working in the field, like uh, if invent a new vehicle engine, it should not be something that uh, ordinary engine designers would come up with in their daily activities. You must think outside the box, so to speak. The fourth requirement is that it must actually work the way you say it works, because there are times we encounter claimed inventions, which if you see it's maybe generating energy from nothing or something like that, which you know will not work. The fifth requirement is that it cannot be something that is expressly uh, excluded from patenting. Uh, examples would be our act excludes business methods or just uh, methods of playing games and so on, mathematical formula from patenting. Do you have different ways or different categories of um, ideas that you protect? Yes, uh, we protect, as I said, Broadly speaking, three categories of ideas. Uh, these are ideas that uh, have a direct application to either products of industry or processes used in industry. If it's something that you can sell, meaning it's, it's a new idea that you have reduced to practice in the form of a physical product, maybe a pen or something like that, then that pen which incorporates the new idea is a new product which if once you have reduced the idea to the pen it can be patented if you reduce an idea of how to manufacture the pen meaning the process that is used to come up with it it can also be patented as a process once you have the pen you can brand it label it so that people can identify that it came from you and by the way, patents do expire after 20 years. So after 20 years, you still label your product so that once 20 years have expired, everybody is allowed to, to manufacture the same pen. But you have labeled yours so that it's still identified as coming from you. There's a trademark. A design would be, with respect to the pen again, its functionality is still the same. But the outer shell, you have changed its appearance to make it look more attractive to other people. So any new such shape can be registered as a design for 15 years. But the trademark can be registered forever. You renew it every 10 years and you can continue using the trademark. Can we find KIPI anywhere in the country? Are you decentralized? No, we are not decentralized. We are located in South Sea. That's within the weights and measures department premises. What does it require to register any invention? An invention would result in a patent, let's say. So in order for it to be registered, you must file an application, which is uh, in a very elaborately specified format. But essentially, it must disclose the invention in adequate detail that anybody reading that disclosure can work the invention. Meaning if, if you're making this glass of water, 
assuming it's complex, then anybody reading your patent application or specification should make it without asking you any further question. Finally, what would you want to tell young people when it comes to patenting, trademarking their inventions? What I'd tell young people is that the services we offer are optional. It's not mandatory to patent. If you don't protect your ideas, then it means it belongs to all of us. If you have products that you see you can have a market presence with, try to own them legally by registering your brands. Uh, if you have a new design, get it registered. Even if you are not working with it, you can license somebody else to work with it at a fee. Thank you so much, Mr. Omiti. It was enlightening <laughs> to listen to you and to hear what we can do to protect our invention. And there's somebody who cares. That's the most important thing. Thank you. Thank you for watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Have a blessed week.